members and their teams this meeting is being what kind of uh, format we need to prepare uh, the task daily basis weekly basis and uh, quarterly basis right so all are we have seen last week okay so this is important when you join any project so that kind of format that kind of um, charts you need to prepare and present where you complete your task okay now the main important subject uh, means you need first you need we have started what is project management what is the objectives what is the role the definitions the charts and all and all okay so first it is the introduction of project management is realization of the objectives any objectives require systematic planning careful implementation right to this effect, application of knowledge, skill, tools, and technique in the project environment refer to project management. Project management requires the systematic planning. You know that day we have seen planning. If you work, if you start any kind of work, any kind of uh, what we say project simple small project or it is a long project so you need to do plan without plan you can't start any project and sometimes if you start without plan you see the results right all things are not doing properly not uh, satisfaction you know? the quality is quality of work not doing that is not project right so systematic planning when you start, what things you require to complete, how, what uh, things you need to implement, right? The systematic work, what kind of skills you require, what kind of tools, what kind of materials, what kind of techniques, everything you require to complete the project. It's very simple. So uh, if, if we think about it or recent year we have seen a lot of projects in a government project if you're talking about the government project the road constructions project metro projects are going on everywhere so we have seen every time when we uh, start our journey so traffic is jammed but uh, if you see the status of project the work is going on right and sometimes or some areas if you're talking about maharashtra so some areas are doing well if, uh, the good example of uh, chandani chowk right so before three years the chandani chowk traffic is very very uh, what we say horrible right but now it's very uh, what we say easy the way of uh, out, outgoing or uh, left side right side roads the highways are very doesn't matter the population is too much more so traffic is jam not but but the way is doing systematic right so that is the project environment that is the thing to complete the project right a lot of skills they required because when the work was started that time we face means hardly where, uh, if we're talking from Vargao to chandani chowk more than half an hour more than but that time it's get one hour one or two hour because of the traffic and now it's very simple half an hour half or half an hour only to reach the that particular area so because it's a government project and they use techniques they use a lot of time we have uh, read the news the pool is down the what a lot of trouble a lot of problems they have faced to construct that pillars and that uh, highway but now 
its file and again work is going on that particular project so that is the example of recent project now the uh, whatever the work you have done you, you you also satisfied to complete the project you also get uh, satisfaction to provide a quality of work quality of design quality of material right as an engineer and those who are engineer uh, working for that particular project so they said when after 2 3 years yes this is my project i was work for that project got it so he or she will get a satisfaction because she participated on that particular project right and she know what kind of trouble what kind of uh, problem faces when they will complete it on it so now the um, uh, challenges the development globalization process rapid technological advancement and quality concerns of the stakeholders a lot of things we required when we start project when we join any project so actual definition what is actual definition of project management so project is general refers to new anywhere with the specific objectives and varies to widely that it is a very difficult to precisely define it yes in short it's very difficult to define it because lot of things required to complete the project got it so project commonly quoted right so that it is project is temporary endeavor undertaken to create a unique product or service or results right everyone create their unique product product for example geo right so before uh, five years we have seen the lot of mobile companies are there motorola is there unic is there idea is there vodafone is there airtel is there lot of now only geo because he proof their uniqueness he proof their identity he uh, capture the market so now today is the project going on only geo got it because it's a unique and all companies are their vodafone is there but their charges their rate is very different from geo and nowadays also geo change their strategy you know so the example uh, so the project is a unique process consists a set of coordination and controlled active activities with start and finish date obviously when you start any project uh, nowadays uh, for government project if you uh, go anywhere so they have just uh, uh, we have seen the big big flex on road side and they mention the starting date and ending date also right within two Two three years within uh, even constructions pro if project uh, are they mentioned their um, possession dates right how they will complete it how they will give possessions two years three years nowadays because if um, a lot of uh, machineries lot of sources are resources are available so hardly three or four years the construction size will completed it depend how many um what to say how many what is there requirement means like that uh, 20 floors 30 floors 50 floors or whatever so they require but nowadays all resources are available so it's very easy to complete any kind of project only only the problem is means rarely problem they face to start the project now the example of project include developing a watershed creating irrigation of facility sometimes developing new variety of a crop develop new breed of an animal developing agro processing center 
construction of farm building, sting of concentrated feed plant. It may be noted that each of these projects differ in uh, composition, type, scope, size, and time. Any kind of project you can start it. So depend on it, how it's big, how it's small. If it is small, so it will take small time. If it is big, it will take big time. And sometimes at least six months, three months or six months, small project, right? So it, it depends. So any kind of project you can start. And the current example in your SIP, right? Two month project or three month project. So the characteristics, what it is, characteristics, first unit is very easy. So just try to understand. Okay, so characteristics, unique in nature, right? Whatever the project you have started, it is unique in nature. Simple example it is like that. You have seen um, so many construction sites, right? So Loda group, Loda group. Group sites. I have seen other group sites. So all uh, structure of building, structure of flats are same. Loda uh, societies in Kothru, Loda societies in Chandnichok, Loda societies in Donaula, Loda societies in Loni, Loda societies in Hadapsar. Right. So all uh, flats, structures, everything is same because. They need to create their identity. They need to create the uniqueness. So a lot of uh, people, they invest to that particular group because it's easy, because uh, every facilities are there, uh, whatever, na, swimming and uh, sports facilities, all things or whatever required for, for single or uh, joint family, right? So... This is the unique in nature. That means Loda group created their identity and uniqueness of that particular flat. And that's why people attracted to buy it because every facilities or everything is available for that society. Right. Now, second is I have a definite objective goal to achieve. Yes, every project, every project manager and team have an objective to achieve their goal to complete project on time right so require a set of resources obviously first when gloda group started their first uh, construction that time they face a lot of challenges but now he know how to face it because he has uh, first experience eh? so what after that whatever the construction they have started they didn't face any kind of problem because they are trained for that particular work and resources is easily available for him so have a specific time frame for completion with midnight start and finish exact when you start exact time and when you finish exact time to complete the project that's why even even our college give you some times right and they uh, give deadlines okay, when you complete your uh, SIP, when you submit your first, second, third chapters, when you submit your third, fourth chapters, right? After after completion of the project, you need to prepare for internal viva, right? So that is the deadlines. So every project have their deadlines. Now involve risks and uncertainty. Obviously, if you start any kind of bigs, uh, risks or any kind of project, you need to take risks, you need to do or take initiative to complete it, you need to face some uncertainties of that particular project. Got it? And requires cross functional terms and interdisciplinary approach. Right? Some some cross-functional terms and interdisciplinary approach means some illegal uh, things are there and you need to take approval. You need to face some problems to take approvals, right? Some kind of things are there. But approval, you don't start. Some cross-functional terms. 
some cross functional teams are there means audit departments right you have seen now uh, some kind of road constructions we have seen coach road in 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 imanvarga and some in our college we have seen there is no proper uh, road constructions right in the back side of college we have seen in in front side of college there are too much hurdles when we walking on that road when we drive on that road because it's difficult uh, on the rainy season we don't uh, start our bike we don't uh, drive well on that particular road but the no one take initiative to start it because some some uh, some some people face a lot of problem and one day i asked regarding that um, things so someone said me like that it's a cross functional uh, what it, it's a cross functional things cross functional things means someone said it's mine place someone said it's mine place so there is some uh, what we say the legal illegal uh, or legal place right so we have not right to do it even the aia mlas and all they are not doing this because some kind of issues on that particular place and obviously the issue created we need to face the public face the problem some kind of interdisciplinary approach are there right so we, and you also see like that whenever we uh, go uh, anywhere so that time we have seen some kind of big place are there and they mention like that this property is belongs to so and so person so do not parking your uh, vehicles are here do not uh, do any things are here otherwise they will take legal action right so that kind of boards we have seen this is the example so means example of cross functional teams and interdisciplinary approach so sometimes we don't do anything else we required um, what approval now the project performance dimensions what it is three major dimensions that define the project performance are scope time and resource right scope means what is the reason to start the project what is the scope in the future what is the benefits for public because if if it's a government project or if it's an industry project so you need to uh, give justification in the scope time how much time you require to complete the project right and resources and for that particular project what kind of resources what kind of tool techniques excuse me tools techniques require to complete the project these parameters are interrelated and interactive so the relationship generally represented as an equilateral triangle right same thing time is required same thing scope is required and same is cost is required means both are equilateral both are equal equally required now it is evident that any changes in any one of dimensions would affect the others obviously means if, if time is required more means the resource and cost is also required more if time is limited then resource and cost is limited but sometimes scope is big and time is time and resource is small means some what is difficult means both three things are required on the basis of equilateral for example if the cost is in large project would require more time for completion and the cost would also go up right so if time is reduced the scope and cost would also be required to be reduced 
right and similarly any change in cost would be reflected in scope and type got it so all it is required in equal basis now the successful completion of the project would require accomplishment of specified goals within scheduled time and budget yes scheduled time and budget these things are required so in recent year a fourth dimension stakeholder satisfaction is added to the project however the other schools of management are used that this dimension is an inherent part of the scope of the project that defines the specifications to which the project is required to be implemented right obviously if everything is going good definitely your project is going implemented now however the other schools of management or use this is dimension is an inherent part of the scope of the project that defines the specifications to which the project is required to implement it and thus the performance of the project is measured by the degree to which these three parameters scope time and cost are achieved whatever but these three things you need to do same parameters and complete the project it is your achievement if you are doing equally of that things and mathematically if we calculate it so performance is equal to scope cost and time right so in management literature or it this equilateral triangular triangle is also referred as the quality triangle of the project and one mark question they ask you what is quality triangle and you need to uh, do this triangle right scope time and cost so project life cycle what it is every project from conception to completion passes through various phases of life cycle right this life cycle of living beings and there is no universal consequence Uh, on the number of places in the project cycle the understanding of life cycle is important to successful completion of the project as it facilitate to understand the logical sequence of event in the continuum of progress from start to finish typical project consist of our phase conceptualization planning execution termination each phase is marked by one or more derivables such as concept note feasibility report implementation plan hrd plan resource allocation plan evaluation report etc which we have seen on last week right we have seen in detail what kind of plan you need to prepare how to prepare your plan how many phases are required to complete the project 1 2 3 4 how you start it then how you note your reports how you prepare your feasibility reports how you implement your plan what is hrd plan what kind of resource allocations you required what is the evaluation after completion the project you need to prepare a report right we have seen in detail in last week even we have seen the formats on what format we need to require to prepare the reports right group wise team wise now the conceptualization phase what is conceptualization phase only one second up huh? hmm. now what is conceptualization phase conception phase starting with the seed of an idea right yes we 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 it's a seed some kind of ideas it covers identification of the product services pre feasibility feasibility studies and appraisal and approval right so everything we required to start the first phase right when we start first phase then you 
get experience how to complete it second third right second and third is difficult and it will take time right the project idea is conceptualized with initial considerations of all possible alternatives for achieving the project objectives yeah, every day you need to fix your objective every day you need to prepare your goal and achieve that goal on a day basis as that idea becomes established a proposal is developed setting out rational method estimated cost benefits and other details for appraisal of the stakeholders and after reaching a broad consensus on the proposal the feasibility dimensions are analyzed in detail right when you start a simple example in your sip you started you use some kind of methodology you prepare uh, your introductions your your chapters right and whatever the things you achieve whatever you learn from that you tell in your internal why was means what you are doing on that particular project right the so same thing applicable if you are complete your sip in very well manner very with full of dedication so definitely you are i am saying like that you are doing any kind of project because some kind of 30% ideas you know how to start it you know how to prepare the report you know what kind of method to use you know what kind of strategy use to complete the project 30% idea you will get it and after 70% ideas look depends on project what kind of project you choose right now the planning phase what is the planning phase in this phase the project structure is planned based on project appraisal and approval yes na project approval if you get approval for the project appraisal and approval means you, in your sip you need to approve your topic and objectives right so same thing applicable for any project you will get it approval then you start with budget and plan so detailed plans for activity is required finance is required resources are required and all thing all thing is yes the develop you start to develop your project and integrate it to the quality parameters then you decided the parameters then you decided what kind of work you need to complete on that particular basis so in the process major task need to be performed in this phases phase r the identification of activities and their sequencing yes what kind of activity you need to do you will give the priority to complete on that particular activity for second third and right? we have seen the phases phase wise the one two three phases so you need to complete this activity on number wise yes and the uh, time frame for execution you just allotted some time yes that time i have completed this that time i have completed that and estimations and budget whatever the budget uh, you decided only that budget you need to complete your activity staff it yes staff teams is required to complete that project but everyone give ideas everyone give training to complete their tasks on that particular timelines that is the planning phase right so a detailed project report specifying various aspect of the project is finalized to facilitate execution in this phase right so the detailed report after the completion of project you need to prepare detailed report on that particular project
Now the execution phase. What it is? The phase of the project witness, the concentrate activity where the plans are put into operation. Each activity is monitored, controlled and coordinated to achieve project objectives. Each activity. An important activity in these phases are, that is uh, communicating with stakeholders. Yes, you need to know how to communicate. You require good communication skills to complete the project. Yes. And reviewing progress. Yes, every day you need to prepare progress report. Monitoring cost and time, what cost you require to complete what time you need to complete the project every day. Got it? And controlling quality. Yes, controlling means whatever the tasks given or assign your supervisor, you need to complete it on that day. It means you save time. It means you work control in that project. If you are complete your tasks on time, means you are control in your project. Means whatever you decide, the deadlines are there now, 30 days. So 30 days means every day you need to do the work, means after that you complete your project on particular time. But if you miss only one or two weeks or one or two days, that means you are not complete your project on whatever the time you decided. Means your control is not on that particular project. Your dedication is not on that particular project, right? So controlling is most important and quality is also important. It not means like that ki last week I have not completed the work. So today I have sit and complete the task. Kuch bhi karenge. No, every uh, task has their time, right? So you need to complete that task on that particular time also. So you, you will get a good quality, you will get a satisfaction of that particular project and managing changes. Yes, as a project manager, you need to do changes. You need to do some plans. You need to hand over uh, some activities with your group, with your team. Right. So that is the execution phases. Now, termination phases, yes, if you are not working good, means you will get a termination letter. You are not eligible for that particular project. Or sometimes if you are not completed your project on time, means your project is reject, rejected, your project is terminated. You will not get approval. You will not get cost and whatever the things you spend for that particular project. Got it? So. For example, a good example of film project, right? big, big directors prepare their films and they have uh, declared the, the first that uh, film budget is uh, 100 crores, 200 crores and all. And whatever the things required, because they are expert, a lot of years they are working that particular project. So they know what kind of things are required. Uh, Rama and movie, you know, so everyone said that is a big budget film, big budget film. But the movie is not like that. Uh, means the when the people are saw that particular film, so not enjoy it because all obviously whatever the budget they have decided, it's lagai hoga, no issue. But the satisfaction will not get right. The characters and the, uh, things whatever they shown on that particular film not getting satisfied right so the project is failed the uh, terminated we have seen like that because the entertainment it comes on the entertainment project and people like or public like the things right some some things they uh, admired it they they uh, what enjoyed it the, the entertainment like that the enjoy right if they will not get satisfaction they are not enjoying a lot whatever they expect so that means the project is not going good that means the movie is not going good right 
So this phase marks the completion of the project wherein the agreed deliverables are installed. That project is put into operation with arrangements for follow-up and evaluation. Means obviously the charge the collection is comes on that basis day wise collection week wise collection year wise uh, month wise collection and on that basis they prepare chart right so they find out it key the film was uh, what uh, starting only three or four months and after that not no one is interested to watch that film so the chart is prepared like that down 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 because people not enjoyed that particular film. But if we talking uh, some kind of uh, other entertainment project, any movies, so we have seen the going on up, 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 one day collection, two days collection, one month collection, three month collection. But nowadays, the, any film will started one or two months or three months because Everyone want to watch new every day they require because it's a entertainment. But if we're talking about another project, so it will take time because it's a scope, right? And it's a long term project, right? So the life cycle path, how we calculate a life cycle path, the life cycle of project from start to completion follow either S, it's a shape. S means a shape path or a J, J shape path, right? Or it's, it's a A shape path, S shape path or J shape path. Okay, try to understand because it's a big uh, question asked in your exam. So the life cycle of a project from start to completion follows either S shape path or J shape path. Figure two and three we have seen. In S shape path, the progress is slow at the starting and terminal phase and is fast in the implementation phase. When you start, it's going slow because you are work on first phase, then you reach second and then third, fourth, right? Next, for example, implementation of watershed project. At the beginning, detailed sectoral planning and coordination among various implementation agencies. Then make progress slow and similarly towards domination, creating institutional arrangement for transfer and maintenance of asset to the stakeholders. So there is a progress slowly. And a watershed project, a lot of approvals you required, a lot of things are required because uh, the technical part is there, connectivity part is there, electricity part is there, right? So it will take time. So progress is going slowly, right? And we have seen now when the road construction is started, so they have government is decided to change some uh, what the pipelines. And so they just first they uh, attach good pipeline whatever because after 10 or 15 years they change it and they change new pipeline so first they change it and after that they started the project because when they started uh, con constructed the uh, constructions and they, when they started so that time the pipelines are bricks Right. So first they change it, they make new and after that they started their new project. So here we have seen the diagram of S shape, right? When you start in slow, start point is this. This is Y axis and it is X axis. Y axis shows uh, percentage of completion and X axis shows in time. Right. So when we start, it's a slow, then quick momentum and it's a slow finish because we need some approval, some connectivity, some technical issues. 
find to complete on the project it's a example now in j shape what it's happened j shape path so in j type cycle path the progress is a beginning is a slow and as the time moves on the progress of the project improves at fast rate for example it developing an energy plantation in this the land preparation progress slowly and as soon as the land and seedling are transplantations is undertaken right so energy plant is there oxygen plants are there you know, we have seen from the time of covid so uh, here is the diagram of project life cycle path it's a j shape right and nowadays the pune city or mumbai city they whatever the construction sites and you know, a building sites are there so they are um, make their project on that basis oxygen big oxygen is required so on that because 20 20 floors 30 30 floors buildings are there so it's a for for big oxygen they make some ventilations they make some kind of uh, italy based um, design japanese based design they use some kind of uh, techniques of that particular things right so you will feel a fresh you will make um, energize right so that kind of things they use their projects so people attracted and like so here the j shape path when you started and without any turn you complete on this so it create j shape percentage Zero percentage of completion means you started and without any error, without any uh, what appraisal or approval means you approve everything once and after approval you started and finished it, right? So it it um, what we very slow project or small projects is easy to. complete on that j part right so j shape is there now the project classification okay so this project classification we have seen tomorrow because now the time is complete okay so i hope you understand this session today's sessions anyone want to ask any question a lot of students are not joining okay no issue uh, have a good day take care bye bye see you tomorrow